Do you want to get into the fat burning zone, curious about strength training, and if it can help you to lose fat? Today, I'm going to be talking about strength training and fat loss. And before we get started, I just want to share my favorite supplements because people are always asking what I'm taking. My number one favorite supplement balance oil I take. It's a high quality omega-3, so there's no fishy taste, no fishy burps. And this is really powerful if you're looking to decrease inflammation in your body. Omega-3s are anti-inflammatory. Omega-6s that we tend to have a lot of in our diet are inflammatory. I also love the company it comes from. You can even get a test to see where your levels are. Supplement, retest, Make sure that your body's absorbing, that you're staying consistent with it. There's actually a lot of scientific research about omega-3s. My next favorite supplement is by the same company, and they have a multivitamin plus immune support called Extend Plus. So not only am I getting the vitamin and minerals, but it's giving me that extra support to my immune system with beta glucans and olive leaf extract, different nutrients to help eyesight. It really has so much packed into it. And I like when I have to take less different supplement. My third favorite supplement is Organifi's Green Juice. It has a clinical dose of ashwagandha. I looked at quite a few different green juices before I started taking one. And this was one of the reasons I went with it. Ashwagandha is an adaptogen herb. It helps to decrease stress in our body. You'll commonly see it recommended for women in perimenopause and menopause and in Organifi, just not a little bit. They put a full clinical dose in there. So it's a great way to start the day. I like to add a little bit of lemon in there and also a scoop of collagen protein powder. So you guys will find the links down below. And if you're buying Organifi, use the code HEALTHY20 and you'll save 20%. Hi friends, and welcome to the Healthy Beyond 40 show. I'm Michelle, mama four and military wife. And I'm passionate about helping women get healthy from the inside out so they can feel better and live their best life. Do you feel like you're struggling to lose weight and get in shape? If you're ready to develop healthier habits, exercise consistently and lose weight sustainably, then you're in the right place. I combine my expertise from my doctorate in physical therapy to my experience as a health coach, personal trainer, and yoga teacher to bring you actionable steps for a healthy lifestyle. No magic pill here, so lace up those shoes and get moving. All right, so let's dig in it today. So as we get started, I wanna talk about what happens when we strength train. So strength training is when you're gonna feel those muscles burning. So it's different from cardio that really gets our heart rate up Strength training really works to build our muscle mass. And this is super important as we're getting older, because especially as we get older, our muscle mass starts to decrease. The way to combat this is through strength training, through using our muscles. Just like anything else, if we're not using it, we lose it. And maybe even if you've been sick for an extended period of time, or has something go on where you haven't moved for a while because you're not feeling well or something, start to lose muscle mass. And you might have noticed that you feel a lot weaker. So to build our muscle mass, we have to use those muscles and we have to keep doing that to keep it. We start to lose muscle mass within 48 hours. So it's really important when you're doing strength training to incorporate it in at least a few times a week. And we're just a much more sedentary society We used to have to do a lot more physical jobs just to run our household or to get food. So we need to actively be putting this in our day to help keep our bodies healthy, how God intended them to be. All right, so I'm going to go over three myths with strength training. So the first one is that strength training makes you bulky. And it really depends, one, on your body type. We all have different body types. So I am not someone who tends to put muscle mass on very quickly. On the other hand, my sister can tend to put muscle on quicker than I can. So you probably have seen different people and noticed some different body types, people who tend to put muscle on quicker than others. So that is something to keep in mind. And if someone is wanting to bulk up, think of bodybuilders or weightlifters, 
they're typically going to lift heavier weights and do a really small amount of reps, maybe anywhere from two to five. So on the other hand, if we aim for lighter weights and higher reps, so a rep range of really eight to 15, I'll even say up to 20, can really be an ideal range to gain strength without getting overly bulky. And you can always adjust that rep range. If you're someone who gets bulky and you do not want to get bulky, you could even go up to higher weights. And don't be afraid of putting on muscle mass because we really need that. We want to be strong. We want to have as much muscle mass as we can as we get older. And maybe even if we get sick or something, the more muscle mass we have on our body, the better we are going to do. All right, so myth number two is cardio is the only way to lose fat. And the problem with cardio is for a lot of people, it's not for everybody, but for the big chunk of people, when we do cardio, we burn a lot of calories at one time. And then what happens is our body increases certain hormones that bump up our hunger because we've lost so many calories at once. Our body is here to preserve us and keep us alive, make sure that we don't starve. So a lot of times with cardio, it doesn't really help with weight loss, especially when we do too much. So if we're someone who hasn't been doing any cardio and we try to do 30 minutes, that might be a little too much for our body. And it's really going to kick up those hunger hormones and those different cues. So maybe we could squeeze a little bit in there, but it's really not the best way to lose fat. Myth number three is you can't gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. And we're sort of thinking if I'm gaining muscle, how can I be losing fat at the same time? But what happens is muscle is very metabolically active. So not only do we want to maintain that muscle mass as we get older, so we're stronger and we're healthier, but it also helps to keep our metabolism strong. And when our metabolism is strong and our body is burning more energy, we can start getting into that fat burning zone even when we're not working out. So when we're doing cardio, we're burning a bunch of calories at one time, and then that stops when the cardio session is done. But what happens when we do strength training, we're working those muscles during the strength training session. We burn some calories. It's not going to be as much as cardio because cardio takes such more energy expenditure. But after strength training, what happens is our body has to repair and rebuild that muscle and it's burning energy to do that. And muscle just sitting there is going to burn more calories and more energy than just fat sitting there. So you can gain muscle and lose fat at the same time. And that's really, if someone is on a weight loss journey, that's really what you want to focus on. We want to preserve or gain muscle and lose fat. And I encourage you that if you are confused what to do, maybe you've been having trouble staying consistent on your own with the exercise routine. Maybe you're YouTubing Rianda workouts and you really want to exercise in a way to prevent injury and learn how to train your core correctly. Then I encourage you to set up a free call with me down below. I have an online personal training app that gives you full support. You get unlimited messaging with me. Imagine having a question and being able to ask it and get an answer right away for it. In this app, we also set up custom habits to work on things like nutrition, water, these other pieces of our health that also matter. And I put custom workouts in there. You learn how to exercise correctly for me, and I'm able to customize these workouts. So if you are someone who doesn't want to be on your knees because that bothers you, or maybe you want some extra core workouts, or maybe lunges are bothering your knee and we need to focus on doing some leg exercises first. I'm able to customize that within this app and then you complete your workouts at your own time. You can see what you've been doing for the week and I can see what you've been doing too. I just had a new client start yesterday and she was just so excited with the app. She said the platform was easy to use and she was just really grateful to have an expert in her corner and to have someone answer all of her questions and to really feel supported in her journey. So if that's you, check the link down below. 
And as we're talking about fat loss, and we've been talking about strength training, I also just want to highlight the importance of nutrition when you're trying to lose fat. Because you cannot outrun or out-exercise what you are putting into your mouth. And you want to have a good relationship with food and a good relationship with exercise. So we don't want to eat something and feel like we have to burn it off. That really creates a negative relationship. It makes us look as exercise as a punishment. When exercise is not a punishment, our bodies are meant to move and we might have different exercise that we enjoy. And sometimes we might have to push ourselves a little bit to get started, but we don't want to think of exercise as a punishment. And really when it comes to exercise and strength training, you can start small. You can start with five or 10 minute workouts. This is what I do a lot of times when I have a client who hasn't exercised in years is we start with five or 10 minute workouts for a couple weeks. We start to learn correct form. We make sure that they're not getting over sore because no one wants to be over sore and keep working out, but you can start small. You just have to stay consistent. So doing five minute workouts three or five times a week is better than one 30 minute workout here and there. And the other thing as we're talking about building muscle and nutrition is that you need protein to build muscle. So you have to give your muscle that stress when you're doing the strength training, you're stressing that muscle like, hey, let's build stronger here. But for your body to do the rest of that work, it needs protein. Protein is the building block of muscles. There's different amino acids in protein and we really need that. So we need to make sure that we're getting enough protein. And a lot of women are under eating protein. So we need to make sure that we are getting enough of this. And this is something I help my clients with is we calculate their protein intake based on their body weight. And so when you consistently start to strength train, move your body, that's like our walking and just our daily movement, eat healthy, eat enough protein and eat in moderation for your body, you will start to lose fat. We really want to avoid the rapid weight loss because what happens when you have rapid weight loss and you're losing it quickly? So I would say more than a pound a week. It depends on the person. You could lose one to two pounds a week, but some of us If we're really above that pound a week, we may start losing muscle and we don't want to do that because what happens is, and maybe you can relate to this, you went on some type of diet and you lost a lot of weight. And what happens when you did that, that you probably weren't aware of is you were losing muscle mass at the same time as fat. And then you couldn't stick to that diet and you go back to your normal eating habits, you gain back the weight and maybe you gain back more because now you have less muscle mass, your body is less metabolically active, so you're putting on more weight than you even started with. When you want to lose weight, you need to focus on fat loss and you need to focus on doing it slowly, doing stuff that you can stick with. Oh, I hope that this gave you guys some things to think about. If you need any support, make sure you reach out to me. You can set up that free call. You can also message me on Instagram or Facebook. So friends, keep on moving. And if you haven't done strength training this week, I hope that you do at least five minutes or even simple things like doing some squats or wall pushups or pushups on the floor. You can pick one exercise to get started. All right, friends, keep on moving.